everybody, I am Tom and you are watching me play Divinity Original Sin 2, Definitive Edition. Um, last time, we did some stuff. Um, <laughs> we essentially did the Migo quest as well as the Amuro quest. So we saved Amuro as well as going and reuniting Migo with his daughter Yaro. So that was a thing. Um, in between episodes, I sold all my inventory stuff, as well as buying a couple of books. I bought Rain, which I need for the Red Prince. So he now knows Rain. He now knows Rain, and Los now knows Restoration, um, which is good. Let's see. Heal can go over here. Rain is fine where it is. They're set up similarly. Similarly enough that I'm happy with that. So, uh, those spell scrolls, by the way, came from... There's a blue lizard guy who walks around here. And if you are... If you talk to him, he will sell you water scrolls, which is what I did. In today's episode, I'm going to head out of the city. And we're going to head out the front of Fort Joy and do all of the stuff I can do out here. Mm, am I going to do that? Hmm. I may want to take on crocodiles. I'm level three. I'm going to take on the crocodiles. So there's some crocodiles this way. Also. Mock her posturing and argue that those with skins as red as hers and yours should stick together. Skin? Ha! That shell is my bulwark against this world. A carapace steamed with sauce. Scepter could crush lizards by the dozen. I, Scepter, could crush dragons. No! How did you come by your source powers? This power is my birthright, same as yours. But one of us has grown to astounding heights, and the other has sunk into depths too humiliating to describe. Pity. Ask if there's any way out of the fort. Of course. They'll happily dump your maggot ridden corpse into the sea when they're through with you. <laughs> Raise an eyebrow. Didn't the order bring you here to cure you? I don't think lizards, strictly speaking, have eyebrows, but they have... I mean, I guess they do. They just don't have the hair on top of it. Of course, precious. But which is worse, the cure of a disease? Ask if she knows what exactly is going on inside the fort. Sorcerers dance while magistrates pull the strings. Fools all! Their tomfoolery won't save them from the destruction the void shall wreak upon them. Alright, crazy crab. Um, <laughs> so... It's apparently, source isn't just limited to people, which is interesting to know, I suppose. But she's just a weird, weird crab lady. Up here, we can see there's some crocodiles. Which I do want to kill. You should be able to pick that, I believe. Hmm, thievery level too low. In that case, we'll just pick up and take the whole chest with us. Interesting, I think I saw what was inside the chest there. I don't think I've ever seen that before. So this... Oh, I thought I was sneaking. I clearly wasn't. Um, I was going to say, this can be a difficult fight, so you have to be careful, but... If you're going mage build, it's less of a threat. I can hit him with a few. Alright, so I froze that one. That's something. I need to move forward, but I also kind of don't want to. I'm actually going to move back. I think I'm going to end there, actually. He can hit me from there. I'm impressed. I don't know how, because I couldn't hit him from up here. There we go. Freeze that one, too. Hmm. 
Do some damage there, and I'll do encourage. I should have done encourage first, obviously, but not much you can do about it. I thought that crocodile was frozen, not chilled, but whatever. Scale didn't use scale portation. Interesting. Shocked, chilled. Uh, that will freeze them. There you go. Both frozen. So heal on Los. Walk over to here. We can do some damage down here. Get rid of some of the magic armor while it heads towards us. Um... Takes a full 3 AP to get there. Can I get to... Oh, I can't go very far at all with 2 AP. Um... That might do. I'm slowed is why I can only move that far, by the way. Hmm... I guess we'll just focus the one at the back. He'll probably teleport. No, he didn't. Interesting. I'm surprised he hasn't teleported. There he goes. Scale portation. I love that. You'll be able to see why you can do that in a second. Alrighty then. Um, I think just focus him for now. Next turn I can have my um, ice ability up and I can take one of the others. Alright. I actually don't have a whole lot I can do currently. I do need to get some more spells. Currently what I lack is utility, um, that's the problem I currently have. Interesting, he went to get out of the way, I haven't seen him do that really. This is both... Unfortunately I can't hit this one and this one, which is what I would like. All three on him though, that should be a freeze. Yep, it's frozen. Hmm. Let's get myself some magic armor back. And then just attack this one, I guess. Alright, now I should be able to freeze this one solid. Yep. And then just attack this one. I guess... I guess restoration on him. Just because I have the AP and... Not a lot that I can send on next time, so... Uh-oh. He's on fire. He didn't move, luckily. He's just outside the oil, I think. I think... He's very close to, like, just lighting this whole place on fire. Which would suck. Um... Sure? Yeah, it works. I'm not technically in the oil. First things first, kill this one. How much does this do? 16 to 18 and set shocked. That's not what I wanted to do. Nineteen. Uh, that will stun this one, because he's shocked, so you get shocked, and then you add wet, that turns into stunned. So he misses his next turn. This one can't do a whole lot. Fossil Strike. Sucks, but I can deal with it. He's coming down to burning very soon. Like, I think he dies to burning next turn anyway, so I can leave him. 
I don't think that's going to hit. Oh, dear, good. Um... I heal myself. That should get rid of the burning. Indeed. Okay. Let's go for killing this one. If I can. Oh, don't miss. I need you to hit. There we go. It's on fire, at least. Bullshit, they can bite from there, but. I suppose I can spit fire down from here, so I guess I'll take it. Um, that should kill this one, or get close at least. Can I get some armor back? Pretty easy fight, even with the, the limited abilities that I currently have. He has one hit point. Um, sure, let's kill him. Encourage. If you can move with one AP to get to there, should be able to hit you, which will kill you. All right, not a bad fight. All things considered, get out of the fire, please. <laughs> Now this is a notable bite for a couple of reasons. Most notably is these. The gloves of teleportation. I'll actually give it to Los for now, I think. I, I think. Yeah, I'll take the HP. You can have teleportation, I guess. I'll keep them though, because they could come in handy later. Also, if you have a tooth, um, you notice the tooth sells for 35. If you combine that with a knife of any description, you'll get a shock head arrow, which is worth 120. Worth, the, worth noting. Um, one, if you're an archer, that's useful because shock arrow is really good. And two, it's also really useful if you just want to sell shit. Um, again, I plan on doing all these things off camera, but then I notice them while I'm in my inventory and I kind of can't help myself. Um, <laughs> so I got to sell some... Oh, there's another tooth. And another tooth. Okay, sweet. I don't know why I'm controlling loose all of a sudden. Alright, Red Prince. Um, <laughs> so I now have the teleportation gloves, which means I can cast teleport, which is really, really useful. Um, I'm going to be learning this skill later on anyway. But from this point here, we can technically leave already. We can just leave the, uh, the fort if we so wish. Rubbish. You say it's rubbish, but I can make starves with that later. Um, <laughs> so these crocodiles have been killing a few people. As we come down here, we'll notice. There's a lot of bodies hanging around. Magilla down here on Magilla. Wretched torso, bloodied arm. Severed head, I don't care about the intestines. More shells. I'm just going to collect them for collection purposes. Here we get a book. If rumors are true, I'll be rich as an ancient. Can't expect less from a king's vault, even on a prison island. If it's anything like the Silver Glen jails, getting out will be easy. Will be as easy as getting in. They'll take any sorcerer these days, and there's easy enough to fake. Landed, found a good mark right away. Says he's got a teleporter spell I can filch easy enough. Just had to say I'd escape with him. Far be it from me to lead a stranger all the, to all that gold, though. So close I can almost smell it. The vault ought to be outside my the prison if I can believe Barbara. Her map may... what? Her map is? Her map's my golden ticket to see behind my lids when I close... I can see it behind my lids when I close my eyes. So there's a vault of Bracchus Rex, which is good to know. Um, as weird as it is, I'm going to be keeping these body parts. Um, where am I keeping them? In here, right? Trust me, there's a reason I'm doing this other than just morbidity. Um, <laughs> there is a reason for me doing what I'm doing. If we come over here, there is a hidden treasure. What's this? I'm not opposed to manual labor if circumstances require. I have 12 wits here. I don't know if you actually need 12 wits to get into that. I think you may be fine without it. Um, adrenaline. 
That's good. It that saves me some money later. Uh, that's the Crafting Bible. There's a bunch of these books around called the Crafting Bible Part Whatever. Um, this one's Part 10, apparently. But these will give you a lot of different recipes. This variable term of knowledge teaches you a plethora of handy adventuring recipes. Um, so they're nice books. And Adrenaline is nice because I'm going to teach it later to both of my characters because Adrenaline is very, very good. Dead Dwarf over here. And that's pretty much it. Alrighty then. Now that I have the teleporter gloves, I am going to go and do all the stuff outside the fort. I can pretty much just tell them to hurry up this way. And as we're going, we're going to run past this guy up here. Who has something interesting to say about teleporter gloves. Gawain, I think his name is? Yeah, Gawain. Just arrived, isn't that right? Are you... Are you quite alone? We're taught that of course you're alone. Someone of your breeding has no business making friends in the wrong places. The man scowls at you. I thought I might see if you wanted to get out of this place. Though maybe I ought to ask someone who isn't a prissy fop. Roll your eyes and tell him to spit out whatever he has in mind. I have a plan. A good one. But I need a partner. Point out that he seems a bit nervous. <laughs> You would be too if you'd been here as long as I have. In fact, you should be nervous if you're here at all. I know what they have planned for us, and it ain't pretty. Ask him what he has planned. I've been here a long time. Longer than anyone else. People get taken sometimes. Some folks say they get cured. I don't know if I believe it, and I don't want to wait and find out. I have a way out of here. It won't be easy, and I need a partner. Just one. Are you interested? Tell him this all feels a little convenient. How do you know he's not working for the Magisters? Believe whatever you want. This may be your only chance at leaving this place. Take it or don't. So you might be, though after discovering a mangled corpse of a certain Magilla, you're not so sure. I didn't say this would be easy. Nor did I say it held no risks. I do promise that if we succeed, we will walk free. Tell him you want in. Attaboy. Who wouldn't? Finally someone with a little sense around here. The plan's simple. Completely foolproof. I have a spell that I can use to teleport you right out of here. I can't use it on myself, but with your help, we can both get out of here. There's an artifact that you can use to teleport me out of this place. Then I can use my spell to free you in turn. This item, though, it's in quite an unfortunate location. I already have it, but I'm not going to tell him that yet. Um, I'm essentially just going to lie and say that I don't have it yet. The reason being is that um, there's some stuff I want to buy off him, which I can't do until level 4, I believe. Because um, they get a inv new inventory of spells when they level up. You can see here, he has the 4 level 1 spells, and if you reach level 4, he will sell the level 2 spells as well. Which... Honestly, I want to get off him, and if I help him and he leaves, then I can't buy them off him, obviously. Ask where you can find it. found his way into a nest of crocodilians on a secluded beach nearby. Here, here, give me your map, and I'll show you where to go. Hold up, crocodilians? How many? Not enough to trouble a fine specimen such as yourself. <laughs> get that artifact, and you and I are as good as free. Go give those lizards... Pardon? What for? <laughs> That's interesting. I don't remember that. I'm pretty sure that's specifically because I'm a lizard. Um, while we're here, I will buy... When another divine now, you know electric discharge already. Change back. What if so I need electric discharge. Change? Favorable wind is really good. Yet so quickly, we find mm. sources so dangerous. Blinding radiance is useful as well. So void woken are attractive but I don't know whether I want it. But why? Why? When another divine arises, hmm. we'll see. Will source change back? What if there are no source? Um, I do want electric discharge though. Um, I can learn that immediately, which is nice. Also, I may. I think I'll trade out rain for electric discharge for now. Just having an extra damage spell is probably useful. 
Probably. We'll see. Penny by mushrooms. As I said, they're useful because they can make healing potions. So if you get to the point where you're starting to run out of healing potions, it's very useful to actually go back there and and get them. But I'm going to head out and I'm going to do all the stuff you can do before the front door of Fort Joy, essentially. Here's the cat again. Also, I have Pet Pal now, which means I can talk to Quirkus. Watch this. I think the giant can finally understand us. Quirkus. Also, Lora and Quirkus. It certainly took it long enough. Where to begin? I disagree, Quirkus. It does not need to know about the coming of the great acorn spelling doom for us all. <laughs> Similarly, what happened with the Knights of Dre is our own business. Those acorn worshipping acolytes do not scare me. No, it is enough for the creature to know that we are allowing it to accompany us so that it may act as our shield against the monsters. The great acorn has many servants. We shall need all the help we can get. I love this. He's literally just a character going on his own adventure. And he just joins you. Like, he, it, it's great. Dear me, it has questions, Quirkus. Also, it's voice acted brilliantly, as you can hear. Mm. Why, yes, I suppose answering them is the polite thing to do. Speak, shield, what are your queries? Ask for more details about this great acorn. What is it exactly? A giant body, but no giant brain, eh, Quirkus? Surely even the tall folk know that Rivalon was bare before the great acorn fell from above and seeded the Irwood, covering this land in beautiful perfect forest beautiful and perfect until the giant races no offense realized they could use it to build their houses and fuel their fires i love this too it's, it's like that the um rick and morty episode where the squirrels have like this society where they're like planning to overthrow the government <laughs> it's just they ridiculous the wood up and the forests shrank and shrank none of the original wood remained but someday, the great acorn will fall again. The forests will be reborn, and the giant races will be wiped from this world. <clears throat> At least that's what I hear. Still a little confused. Where's this acorn come from exactly? Oh, Quirkus, it wants answers. As if it is the first creature to ponder the big questions of the universe. What tree did the great acorn fall from? Where did that tree come from, if not a greater acorn? Could you build a nest great enough to store the great acorn for the winter? God, I love it. It's literally just the, these squirrels have a concept of God that is the great acorn. It is the progenitor of the world, according to their religion. Some questions have no <laughs> answers. Quirkus, why is that so difficult to understand? Could God create a rock so heavy that he could, himself couldn't lift it? The great acorn oh, great. will come. It will destroy the world, and squirrels will reign supreme forever. I fail to see what's so difficult to grasp. Ask whether he thinks it's, a, it's good that the great acorn may return. What do you say, Quirkus? We once believed it was good, but now... No, quite right. As terrible as the giants have been to us, we do not want to see them wiped out. He's a good Brother, dude. We must find a way to live together in peace, giant and squirrel. Ask what changed his mind. Solora stops short, then shakes his head and pats Quirkus affectionately. Squirrels change, don't they, Quirkus? Priorities change. If we do not adapt, we are sure to perish. I like Solora. He's cool. Alrighty then. So out here, there's a few things we can do. And now we have a few more wits, which is good. There's a few secrets that I can find that we couldn't find earlier, which is why I didn't really take much time to actually search this place properly before when we came here last time. But for starters, there's a chest here. Whew. Pretty good pants, actually. Better than my mage pants for him. 
And these are better than her stain pants. So, that worked out well. Um, I'm going to sell this Fortify scroll. That may be a bad idea, in all honesty. Fortify is actually like a really good skill to have. And, um, oops. and because we don't have any Geomancer, and I don't plan to get any Geomancer, having some scrolls with it are actually kind of useful. Even the most noble among us must occasionally dirty their claws. And we get some armor. Which may be an upgrade for her. Probably. Yep. That's an upgrade for her. Uh, there's a bow here. I don't care. I'm not going to use bows. Um, it's worth noting as well. This little dirty pouch. You can actually pick it up. And it works just like a backpack. So you can just have another backpack. Which is useful if you want to sort stuff. Which I probably do in all honesty. Um, particularly later. I like to have sets of armor for certain stats. Like social stats that are useful. For, answer, for instance, you can get bartering. Uh, uh, yes, I understand. Um, that's just telling me there's a secret here. Oh, look, a secret. Um, we're going to go there later. There's something down here I want to check first. Um, but there are certain stats you can get on items later on. The higher the level the items, you get better stats on them. But you can actually find items that have plus bartering on them. So you can have like a full set of armor that you just put on and then all your prices are way better when you do shopping. Fleshly Buried Corpse. Um, you have no magic armor. Which means I can freeze the hell out of you. Only chilled. Interesting. I'm intrigued by this. I guess I just end my turn there. Weird he did not attack me. He's for some reason going for Los. I don't know why. I don't even think he's going to get there because he's chilled and shocked. So, shocked, by the way, um, lowers their AP and chilled make lowers their movement speed. So, can't really do a hell of a lot. Uh, sure, I'll just do this and probably kill him with this attack. Yep, that's pretty easy. <laughs> Damn it. Um, if you walk on ice, there's a chance that you will slip. I didn't there, which was nice. Alright. Next up, we want to go up here, and since we can teleport... I can teleport the Rem Prince right up here. I separated us there, as you can see, so uh, we're now no longer following each other. That's something you can do, by the way. Ooh. Oh yeah, I'm carrying a chest. Uh, hold this. <laughs> Alright, now we're fine. Um, plus one to Geomancer, and it's actually better armor. I think, though, I'm going to give it to her. Yeah, and that bow I don't care about. As I said, not going to use bows. Um, let's see. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, separating characters. You can link them together. There, they link together, so they'll follow each other. So if I go like this, he fell down because he went down this rope to try and get back down to her. But if we separate them, I can move Red Prince over here and Lois won't follow. So you can separate your guys and move them independently if you wish. But I want to be back up here because there is some other stuff up here. Also, you'll notice that teleporting actually does do damage. Um... So you do have to be slightly careful when you teleport your friends, but it is very useful to get to different places, that's for sure. That was another shield, which I will have to check, because it could be a good shield. But if we come up here, this rubble, you can actually walk up. If we come up here, there should be a good sword, plus some other stuff up here. Notably, Lucky find. a sword. Interesting. A blunt morning star. It's not really a morning star if it's blunt, I suppose. And similarly to the other little bag, you can pick this one up as well, so you can have a coin purse. I'm actually going to give it to Loose. Um, so we both have a backpack and a little bag. Um, it's good for inventory sorting here. This is a really good one-handed sword if you have um, if you have not actually got a sword yet, or if you 
uh, using melee weapons, I should say. Uh, but I'm going to sell it because I don't actually need melee weapons. But it is very, very good. It's worth noting. Um, the shield is shitloads better than mine. So that can go there. How is this compared to this? Not as good. Okay. I'm now going to head back. And meet up with Los. I guess I'll loot this on the way. Seven gold, worth it. Um, to get down from here, by the way, you can teleport yourself back down, or you can just use these vines and they'll fall. You can't climb up those vines, but you can fall, climb down those vines. And I'm going to link these guys back together again. And then we're going to go back to that secret that I showed just before. Behind these vines. Fane is up here. I'm not too worried about Fane. I'm not going to even bother talking to him. Get some stuff off that, though. Now, there's a lot of poison on the ground here. You can burn the poison away. Which is good to know. And that will slowly burn, and when it finishes burning, the poison will be gone. So you can actually just burn that away. Also, over here is a chest. Um, you either need telekinesis or teleport. You can just teleport the chest. There we are. Get some wizard leggings and a small crossbow. Crossbow I don't care about. The leggings, maybe for her? Yeah, it's better. It's a straight upgrade. I'll take that. So we're now starting to actually get, like, proper sets of armor now, which is really, really good. Um, it makes a noticeable difference. Also, the reason I got rid of this poison is because... There are some vines up here. Um, there's a little girl crying over here. I'm going to use Lois to talk to her, because Lois is better at talking to little girls than the Red Prince is. <laughs> you hear a small whimpering sound from behind a basket. You peer behind it and find a small human child holding her knees and trembling. Gently ask her what's wrong. The child quiets and seems comforted by your presence. She looks up at you with curious eyes. Ask if she'd like to hear a joke. She nods. Ask if she knows why the witch got kicked out of school. Why? Because she failed her spelling test. A wide mm. smile cracks across her tear-streaked face, exposing a big gap where her two front teeth should be. Great storytelling. <laughs> because witches do spells. <laughs> yeah, it's funnier when you explain it, kid. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> you can have this. I found oh, your it discharge outside, scroll. I can't read it yet. That's next year, and then I'll learn it. The child wipes her eyes and, grinning, plunks herself down on the earth and ground. She starts tracing shapes, hearts, stars, and diamonds into the dirt. So knowing which companion is which for uh, talking to people is always a good idea. The Red Prince doesn't do well with children. Or pretty much... Honestly, he doesn't do well with most people. <laughs> Rubbish. Um, I'm not going to bother talking to her. Um, there is some interesting things with her, but we can go into it later. Um, it actually auto-saved there. I went to quick save and it was auto-saving. I have pet pal, so I can talk to these turtles. Can you feel the darkness approaching? Interesting that she calls us cousin. I'm not sure if that's because I'm a lizard or they do that with every race. And it's possible that they're talking about the source rather than the rather than anything else. You too sense a troubling presence. Does it cast a long shadow on you as it does me? My heart frosts over as if I've been violated by nothingness itself. It threatens to consume me. It threatens to consume all. Not half foreboding. I'm actually going to separate my guys. Um, after you walk past a certain point, these turtles go crazy. 
Damn turtles are crazy. Freeze that one there. Um, at this point, these turtles are pretty easy to level two, so I'm not particularly worried about them, if I'm being honest. Uh, sure. Gonna use impalement. Yep. He always does the, the first move without fail. Frozen. Shocked. And I can stun this one so it doesn't get a turn. So I crowd controlled everyone there, which was useful. Um, I can now kill him. They explode when they die. Like this. So be careful you're not standing next to him. Particularly if you're playing as melee characters, obviously. It's more of a problem if you're melee. Um, I can get to there with 2 AP, so I will. Can't quite hit him with the Encourage, which is a shame. I can use Teleport, and I'm going to teleport this turtle over here. This will do physical damage to both... Only one of them. Um, <laughs> if you teleport one thing onto another, it'll do physical damage to both, which is nice. Um, but the main reason I wanted to teleport him is so that he'd have to walk towards us to actually do any damage. Arguably, that, arguably a bad idea to split damage there, but... I think it'll be fine in the grand scheme of things. Um, you have no physical armor, so I can actually hit you with... Mosquito Swarm. Which will set bleeding, which is useful. And then we'll do two attacks onto you. He's going to die next turn from burning anyway. Which means I can just focus fire on the big turtle. I suppose I can hit this one, so I may as well. This turtle actually gives a wand, which is good to know. Probably better than the wand I have, actually. Yeah, it is. <laughs> um, also get some leggings. I mean, that's arguable. Not as good as yours. Um, I don't need this wand anymore. Okay. There's a lot of steam all over the place at the moment. Which makes it slightly hard to see, but you can use alt to allow you to see things. Talking about this bloated corpse over here. First night here. Don't seem like it'll be too bad. Found somewhere quiet to sleep. Brought enough dry bread to last me. When all this blows over, I'll be happy to say I survived in comfort. Group of damn brutes shoot me down for my bread. I'll have to get smart if I want to eat. Met an old fisherman named Rad. Taught me how to make a net. Rad's gone. Dumb brutes took my net. At least the meanest one got took in the night. Getting hungry. I always was a strong swimmer. Waters around here are plenty glassy. Can't be much more than a few miles to shore, can it? So clearly, clearly it was a few more than a few miles to shore. Also, I like the fact that he's like, he taught me how to make a net. My net's gone. <laughs> it's kind of a, a dark sense of humor, but a good one nonetheless. There is a hidden item over here. Um, I don't think you need any wits to get it. I think it's just as long as you walk here, you'll find it. I'm interested to see whether I can get over here, actually. I don't know whether I can. Uh, I can't see over there, so I don't think so. I'll have a look. Maybe. No, can't teleport over here. It's a shame. I didn't even look at what I looted there. I'm a frost again. That's a somewhat useful thing to have, but... And again, mainly useful because um, I don't own the spell yet. So once you own the spell, it's less useful, but... 
Uh, teaches you some crafting recipes. How to do some bows. Uh, this I should be able to pick the lock of. Hopefully. Otherwise this is a wasted lock pick, but, you know. Nope. Uh, pick this up. That's going to be too heavy. Um, can you carry that? No. Well, I mean, technically yes. The trick you can do here is I'm overburdened. But I can fast travel. If you click this thing up... Uh, mm, my cursor doesn't work. Um, where it says waypoint travel on the top right of the screen, that's a little blue button. If you click this, um, you can fast travel. So I can go to Fort Joy Square. Actually, I think I want to go to Fort Joy Square anyway. Right? Because I think I've now completed everything out here. We got this treasure chest. We got all the stuff up here. Now we've done up here. Yeah, so we're actually pretty much done, which is good. Um, the only thing left is a couple of things with Gowan that we do later. Alright, so I'm actually happy for both of you to fast travel back to Fort Joy Square. Um, so overburdened, it doesn't matter if you're overburdened or not, you can still uh, travel to Fort Joy. Um, both of these, I don't have enough thievery, thievery to actually unlock yet, so... When I do, they'll be sitting here ready for me to unlock. That is a good uh, trick, by the way, if you ever if you ever need to get through them. But I think that's actually going to be it for this episode. So we did everything outside of Fort Joy. Um, so that's good. So we've cleared all of this area out. And we've done pretty much all of this area. Around the beach. So there's a few things left to do in this cavern. And then we're pretty much done with, like, the old surrounding area and we can just focus on the middle. Which will be good. But that's going to be it for this episode. So if you like the video, please leave a like. If you're not subscribed already, please consider subscribing. As always, thanks for watching and I shall see you next time. Bye guys.